down below if you want to help me out. We are making fingerprint art. So we, me and mommy, were making a girl or a boy elephant blowing bubbles out of its trunk. All right, this is... Um... Another in our series of fingerprint art, and this one is going to be elephant bubbles. So what we're basically going to be doing is creating an elephant down here, and then we're going to have bubbles coming up, and then those bubbles are going to be made from fingerprints. So first thing, as always, we want to sketch out an elephant. And the neat part about this, you can do any type of elephant you want. Um, it just it depends on you, what you like. If you want to do a mama, baby. So I'm just going to kind of sketch this out. And once again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be kind of about what you like. As you draw in, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but kind of create an elephant. And it, it doesn't, it, it, it's whatever you like, however you like it. Um, And then of course you can color these in as well. Um, we're gonna be using some Aztec um, real brush paints, or <laughs> real paintbrush pens. Um, and on this, I'm not gonna color it in fully. I just wanna kind of give them a little bit of color, kind of on the lines. Maybe make it a little bit darker to get to the bottom. Kind of like a nice little shadow effect there. And this would be really cute if you were doing a uh, some art for a nursery or a children's or child's room. You know, just not a whole lot of color, but enough. And then we can add a little bit of pink in there. And I would like to use a light pink. And really what we're going to do is just give them a little bit, or her, whichever way you're going. Um, just a little bit darker pink than what I wanted. So I'm probably going to use more of a peach color.
And what's cute about this is you could make a little bow up here if you'd like. Um, you could even maybe do a little pink on the cheek. Just kind of bring out a little bit of character in this adorable little character, or this adorable little guy. And then all I'm going to do here is I am giving it a little bit of an outline since I did that original one in pencil. Just kind of make it stand out a little bit more, especially if you're hanging it up. You might think it's a little bold, but from across the room, you're going to kind of lose it. So this just brings those lines out a little bit more. tiny girl it's got to have pink and it's got to be a little girl I don't even if you're going through this very quickly anything I say might be irrelevant all right So we got our little elephant, and now what we're going to do is we're going to create these balloons that go up. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I didn't mean to do the blushing. Yes. That looks very pretty. It's so cute. All right, so now we got our elephant done. And the neat thing about this is you're, if you pick something that's monochromatic or very light in color, we want to go with a lot of color this way. But take in mind, you can do anything you want. Like I said, we're going to have a little girl elephant. Um, so, you know, we could do pinks or purple. Um, what I think we're going to do is kind of like a, the color spectrum where we're going to use Roy G. Biv, right? Yeah, like red, red orange, orange, yellow, yellow and blue, blue, violet. Indigo and Indigo? violet. What's in so there, let's get those together and we're going to start with red so let's do red orange yellow and in then the i think we're going to use in the a darker blue in the and then we're going to do green and of course we'll do a purple like um, a violet it's actually called violet and do we want to use a light purple or we want to do the dark purple i like violet okay it's cool and it has a pretty name all right, so remember with bubbles, we're going to have little little fingerprints and big fingerprints. So we're going to be using a lot of them. Like um, pinky, 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 thumb, thumb, thumb. And other fingers. Um, so we'll leave a, a list down, or a link down below so you can see what inks that we're using. I like to use acid-free pigment once again. Um, it just helps for longevity and archival reasons. And hopefully, you know, once again, you're creating a piece of art with fingerprints from your child. So it's something you want to keep for a while, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so the yeah. bubbles first coming. There you go. First coming out of it, we want to use smaller bubbles, right? So we're just going to do kind of little pinkies here. And the neat thing is because we're doing sort of a rainbow feel, we can bleed a little bit into the next row, but don't make it too much because remember, we've got to fit... Um, six colors into this space so kind of have in your mind how you want it to go or the flow um, as you're starting it you're going to have to help them with their with their fingers now i'm thinking fingerprints up um, and you can kind of go this way so don't put your ink on too hard or too heavy uh, the reason why is you'll lose like the 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 ridges in their fingerprints if you will um, so we're going to kind of judge that and sometimes it's you're going to have one that's a little bit more solid and it's okay life's not perfect it'll be fine 
and then you can start edging to a little bit bigger finger so not necessarily you don't have to use the thumb you can use a pointer finger a ring finger or whatever do you know do you feel a little elephant's gonna have lots of bubbles that's going everywhere Okay, so now we're going to kind of evolve into our orange. The neat thing about this um, is you could even do some mixed fingerprints if you want, especially if you have like these little types of um, ink pads because, oh yeah, we forgot about the pinky dead one. Yeah. And we just have a simple washcloth with a little bit of water in it um, and a paper towel because you don't want to necessarily mix your ink pads up. But another thing that you can kind of do is as you evolve, but just remember, if you're doing the fingerprints in this direction, your bottom's gonna be red, your top will be your next color, okay? So, what we're gonna do here is give her a little bit of orange at the bottom, or red at the bottom, I'm sorry. You kinda see where that line is. And then we're gonna do a little bit, and like I said, you wanna be very careful because you don't wanna mix up your... Uh... Can I see? Whoa. Right. And then you can kind of put one or two of those in there. That's cool. And then we're going to make it like go into an orange now. Don't forget the pinky and the thumb. Whoa, that's too much. And here's the neat part is it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. But bubbles, we know, are big and small, and a little here and a little there. That hurts. And then we're going to go to our orange, or our yellow. Got everything cleaned off? Yep. Okay. So let's start with a smaller finger. This one. Okay. Go ahead. Just watch your pinky. And if you have really little ones that you're doing fingerprints on, you can always stick another piece of paper down here and kind of work them through it. And you might want to let your colors dry in between when you do that. That way you don't smear them necessarily. But, um, Definitely don't think a child is too, too small to do this. They just might need a little bit more direction from you. All right, now we're going to go up into our blues. And I think how we're doing this, we're probably going to do both blues. So we're going to do some light blues and some dark blues because, once again, we have more space. Um, and bubbles kind of disperse as they go. So what we're probably going to do is we're going to curve in a little here, and then we want to come all the way back out. Um, all right, fingers clean. Can we use some of pink? Like a different color of pink? No, not on this one. Okay. It almost looks like rainbow because red, orange, yellow, and blue. Okay, we need a little bit more. And then dark blue. Okay, watch your pinky. Wait, no, it goes red, orange, yellow, green. Oops, probably need to redo that one. And if you do have one that's very faint, it's okay. Not going to end the world if you double stamp it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, one thing. Okay. Hold on a second. And here, because we're going to go with the darker color, I'm going to do a couple of large ones, and then we're going to work in some small ones to make it fuller. See how dramatically different that color is? To 
fill in with some of these smaller prints. And you can do the same thing with the green because your green is going to be significantly darker. You can do a lighter green first. Okay. And like I said, what we're going to be doing here is going, and see that's okay, see how it kind of smeared? And that's fine because you're going to have blurred lines anyway as your bubbles go up. Make sure you clean them off in between. And we're just going to do a little bit of this green because it has more of a yellow in it. And then we're going to go with our dark green. We're almost at the top. Yep. We're probably not going to get all of them in there. And if you do have smaller children, recommendation, put something under it so they don't stamp off of your work surface and you got ink all over your table. Um, but like I said, it's acrylic. You can always. We have to do violet. Can we do pinky violet or foam? This is our only last color we got to fit in. We're going to try to be careful here since we are at the end. And this is a very light color. So we're probably not going to fail. Yeah, so we're going to use a darker color. Let me wash it off. The darker purple. And what I'm going to do here is because I know we're about to go off the paper. And it is fine to go off the paper and have half prints, right? Yeah. That's, um, but it's still okay. We're just trying to get it in the picture. Sound effect? <laughs> Hold on, hold your fingers straight. All right. I think that's it. So this is what you've got. And as you can tell, you could even make these balloons if you wanted to. You could easily imagine us drawing strings up and, and tying them around a basket. Or you could even put a different animal in here and, and kind of have that feel about it. Um, if you feel like you want to add something when you're done or you're missing something, you can always feel free to add in grass or groundwork. Um, you know, maybe a little friend, maybe a good saying like sweet dreams, baby, something of that nature, um, would be just fine having that. Can I do it? Um, you can even add like little flowers to it if you feel like that's something you want. But it just makes it feel more grounded. It'll give you something a little bit across there. Um, another option you have is, of course, you can always kind of, if you feel comfortable with it, you can surround some of your fingerprints with what would be bubbles or black marks. It, it really just depends on you. That's the neat part about art. And once again, as always, when you're doing stuff like this, make sure on the back of your artwork you are putting things such as your child's name, how old they were at the time, and a year. That way you can always keep it later once you've archived them. Click the links down below if you need the supplies. I hope you have fun with me and Mommy making.